Hey, what's up guys? Diamond Gamer Pro here today and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to get custom badges on your Nintendo 3DS home menu, just like the one you can see right here. These badges um, look like exactly like the ones that come from the Nintendo Badge Arcade and you can attach them to folders and put them on your home menu. What you're going to need is a computer and a modded 3DS. I will leave a link in the description on how to mod your 3DS if you don't have one already. And let's jump straight into the tutorial. Alrighty. So, what you're going to want to do is head to the first link in the description below, and that is going to show you this program right here, GYTB, or give you this badge. This program here is what we're going to be using to import custom badges onto our Nintendo 3DS or 2DS. So, uh, over here, this is a GitHub page. It has the sort, I believe, at least this is the sources, and then it has some troubleshooting and some instructions. Uh, so just to run through real quick, what you're going to want to do is click on the CIA format, and this is going to give you a download of a .zip file. And then we're gonna, what we're going to want to do is just download the entire thing, click direct download, and that's going to bring us to that. And then you can actually close out of this. And then in the second link in the description, I'm going to show you guys here. This is a website that has a ton of custom badges for you to install on your 3DS. You can pick any of these that you want. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through, and you can, of course, use these to put on your home screen or put on your folders. So, scrolling through, I'm as you guys can see, there's a ton of things. There's, like, Pokemon, Game Boy Color. Uh, so, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get this Pokemon Game Boy Color theme. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to download that. And then, as you guys can see, it just gives us another zip file right here. So, what you want to do after opening the first zip file is going to give you all this stuff right here. Uh, this badges and this GYTB.CIA. So what you're going to want to do is drag the GYTB.CIA into your CIA's folder of your 3DS. If you don't have one already, just create one. And then the badges folder, which will actually be blank, other than these three um, generic ones that it essentially comes with, uh, you're going to want to just drag that onto the root of your SD card. So as you guys can see, just round to the root right here. And your SD card should end up looking something like this. Then you're going to want to open up the second zip file. And then we can scroll down right here. And this has every one of the badges that we need here. So what you're going to want to do is just press Control a to select all of them and then put them inside of the badges folder. Um, it may take some time to copy them over just because in this case uh, there is a ton of images, but it's still not taking long. This is about 15 seconds left. Uh, sometimes it may get stuck on a couple of them like it is here. It kind of slows down for a bit and then it'll pick up. So I'm just going to let this go all the way through. And there we go, it is just about at the end. Now we can go into the badges folder, take a look, make sure that there's nothing we don't want here. Uh, this preview.png, make sure you delete that, you do not want that in your folder because that can actually cause issues. And that's not actually one of the badges, it's just like this preview that you can see here. So once you see that you have all of the things that you need, uh, you can actually just uh, take out your SD card, put it back into your 3DS, and I'll show you guys what to do once we get there. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm now on the home screen, and what you're going to want to do is open the FBI application, which should already be on your 3DS, provided that it is a modded one, which of course you need for today's tutorial. So, once in FBI, we just need to wait for the menus to load up, and once you do, go to SD, scroll down to CIAs, and as you guys can see right here, we have the give you this badge CIA file, so you're just going to want to press A, and then press install and delete, and then press A, and this will install the application to your 3DS and then delete the file, which we're no longer going to need. So, as you guys can see, it's only 290 kilobytes, installs very quickly. And now, we can just press A, go all the way back, and press Start to return to the home menu. Once here, you should see that a new application has been added, just like this. Press OK. And then we can unwrap the application, and you guys can see it looks like this, give you this budge. What you're going to want to do from there is just press A again, and then it should give you a little compilation of all the badges that you are trying to install onto your 3DS um, in just a second. And there you go. You guys can see this has all of the Pokemon badges that I just dragged in in the previous clip. And as you can see, it is adding all of them to my list of 3DS badges. So as you guys can see, it has every single one right here. These are the Generation 1 and 2 Pokemon uh, from Pokemon Crystal. And once it's done, it will give you that little notification essentially saying that it is complete going through all the badges, and it should go relatively quick, and obviously more badges will take a longer amount of time. So, now that it's done, it says attempting to write extra data, and successfully, press any button to exit, you can just press any button, and it will now boot you back to your home menu. Once that's done, you can simply click on this right here, and then press decorate with badges, 
And as you guys can see, I now have all of the badges that I just got from the site that I had shown earlier. So once I actually just go and pull out my stylus right now, as you guys can see, I can drag the badges onto the home menu and it takes up a spot right there. Or if I wanted to do it on a folder, I could do that too, which I'm going to show right now. I'm just going to create a quick folder. And now we can go back to here, decorate with badges. And then we can just press this here and do attach badge to folder. We're going to choose this folder right here. And then as you guys can see, we can go and put any of the Pokemon badges that I chose earlier. So let's say I want to add this Starmie. And there we go. We now have the Starmie folder. So once that's done, we can return to the home menu. And as you guys can see, we have our Starmie folder. And then we also just have this cool Weepin' Bell patch right here. And our badge right here. And it actually has the custom label that was given to it, just like that. So it looks like an official Nintendo badge. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you'd like to see in future videos on the channel, and subscribe. Peace out.